happy Friday! Hello Facebook world, hello Instagram world, eventually. I am here in Eugene, Oregon. My name's Heidi Papoff. Who am I? Well, I'm a married mother. I have two kids. I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. Hi, Christy. Thanks for joining. Um, I am in real estate and I'm also in network marketing. So I am kind of wear a lot of hats. I keep myself really busy and have a lot of fun <laughs> in the, you know, in between all of it. And um, I wanted to do another random facts video because I just wanted to do something fun. I just wanted to do something lighthearted. It's Friday. What's everybody up to this weekend? Um, let's see, we have both of my kids' schools have their uh, Halloween carnivals tonight, so we're trying to like go to both of them. I'm actually volunteering at one of them, so that's the one I'm going to. Um, let's see, we're gonna do carve pumpkins this weekend. We're going to go to a birthday party, mom life. So, you know, put in the comments what you're up to this weekend. What are you most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to going to the pumpkin patch and carving pumpkins with my kids. I can't believe we haven't done that yet. It's kind of late in the year, but I find that if I do it too early on in uh, October that the pumpkins are like flat and squished sitting outside my house by, you know, the time Halloween rolls around. So I like to do it a little bit later just a little bit later than usual this year. So I wanted to get on here and say hello. I wanted to talk about some funny, fun, random facts about me. Um, hope some of you can, you know, make me laugh in the comments with random facts or whatever my random facts bring up about you. Hi, Heather, thanks for joining. Um, so I wanted to start out with the random fact that I was a cheerleader in high school. Now this probably may not come as a surprise to some of you. Um, I noticed when I do my dance party videos on Fridays that I do a lot of like cheerleader-like moves and I think that that's just something that must either have been ingrained into my muscle memory or comes naturally, I'm not sure. But I, okay, so I started out in school trying to be in sports. Um, in sixth grade, one of my friends invited me to join the soccer team and I'm like, okay, I'll do it. What else am I gonna do? And you know, it was fine, it was fun, but what I found is that I was not very good at sports. And it's not because I'm not athletic. I am, I am athletic, but what I, you know, through doing soccer, through doing basketball, um, and just feeling like I really wasn't that great at it. Uh, I wasn't aggressive. I didn't really love the competitive nature of sports. I didn't like getting hurt or, you know, being um, overly aggressive, like stealing the ball, all of those things. Like I didn't want to get kicked in the shin. I just was timid out on the sports field or the sports, you know, whatever it's called, basketball court. So when the idea to join the cheerleading squad happened between my friend Denise and I and my friend Jenny, we all tried out together. Um, I had, you know, stereotypes, preconceived notions about cheerleaders, but I also realized in doing it that I was way better at that. So I actually am athletic. I had been led to believe that because I wasn't good at sports or maybe I believed that about myself, that I was not athletic, I wasn't strong, those types of things. But I realized in cheerleading that I actually was very athletic, <laughs> being sweaty, yes. Didn't love getting other people's sweat all over me. Um, it takes a lot of athleticism to be a cheerleader, uh, be a cheerleader. And like the jocks would make fun of us and, you know, make it seem like it wasn't a real sport, even though we lettered in varsity, you know, we got varsity letters and varsity or letterman's jackets and all of that. So, you know, it was a lot of memorization of dancing. The dancing took a lot of cardiovascular fitness. Um, you know, I did stunts. I was throwing girls up in the air. We had um, a gymnast on our team and she'd do back flips all across the basketball court. I mean, it was hardcore and we were freaking good. We, uh, we went to state two years in a row in state competitions. I went third in the state. Am I dancing again? Not here yet, David. Uh, David. Um, so we were a really, really good team and we did well in our competitions. We, like I said, we got third in state two years in a row. 
Um, we had a cheerleader from the U of O squad come and train us. Like we rocked. And even though, you know, I felt like less than because I wasn't one of the jocks, I wasn't good at sports. Like looking back, I'm proud of what we accomplished and how good we actually were. And um, have, you know, since learned that other people's opinions are just that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't define you, all of that. But that, so that, you know, discovering that about myself, that I loved to dance because the best, you know, my favorite part about cheerleading was the dancing and the choreography and learning the routines and then getting out and performing them. Um, later, you know, a little bit later in my life, Britney Spears came uh, out and became a big thing. And what I loved about her was the dancers. I loved the choreography. Um, I like had this new daydream that I wanted to be a backup dancer for a pop star. Like it didn't really matter to me who it was, but I loved Britney. Obviously I love the Backstreet Boys. I probably most would have wanted to be one of their backup dancers, but it just led me into having this like different dream and vision. Did I really ever think I was gonna become a backup dancer for a real big pop star? No, but it got me dreaming. So what did end up happening is I started taking a, a few dance classes at the community college. I took hip hop dance. And what in, in one of the dance classes I took was, you know, it was like the stars aligned. It was led by a person named Vanessa Fuller. She's one of my Facebook friends. And I took her dance class and she asked me at the end of it if I would audition for her new dance company. And I'm like, what? Me? And I did. I, did, I auditioned. And when I walked in to the audition, the song playing was a Britney Spears mashup. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm in the right place. And I got onto the dance company and to me, this was like my dream coming true. This was my version of being a, a backup dancer for a pop star. And you know, that was good enough for me. And we did, um, you did girl tossing? <laughs> I did, David, I tossed girls. Um, so we put together big performances. Uh, we performed at the Holt Center, which is a local place here in Eugene. We sold out the, uh, the theater that we were performing in and I was there through two cycles of that and it was amazing for me and yeah I mean we're not like huge big stars or performing like all over the country or anything but to me being in a local hip-hop dance company that performed that had people come and watch us and they paid to come and watch us like that was my version of my dream coming true to be a backup dancer for a pop star okay okay so that's fact number one and two that i was a cheerleader and that i then was in a performing hip-hop dance company um so the next thing is that i get this question a lot actually so people sometimes get confused about what i do now because for the longest time i you know was a stay-at-home mom when i first had my daughter two years into that i got into network marketing and that was like my big thing i was an out and proud network marketer spamming my product all over my page like I was so excited this is what I'm doing and and that's that's I mean still true for me today I love the, the industry of network marketing I love products I love directing people to good products I've become more passionate about clean living products um, helping people you know detoxify their home get healthy whatever you know whatever goals people have i feel like i have something to help them with so that is still totally me on the same at the same time you know i got into real estate and so i feel like some people have wondered like am i gonna pick one or the other and here's my answer to that there's two ways i could say this <laughs> i'm either a network marketer who loves real estate too or i'm a realtor who loves network marketing either way however way you want to say it my whole thing is like, I want to, first of all, follow all of my passions and do, do what I want. I don't have to fit into anybody's box or mold, but I'm all about dual streams of income. Like I, it's just the thing now people, I mean, even people who have like traditional nine to five jobs are figuring out that, 
you got to have dual streams of income. Nothing is guaranteed. You can bust your butt for, you know, 20 years at a company and get laid off. It happens all the time. So having more than one plan is really, really smart. And, you know, with network marketing, you basically own your business. You are at a low entry of, you know, low cost of entry, low risk, you know, the, the infrastructure is already set up for you. You're not doing the shipping. You're not doing the order fulfillment. You're not taking the money, all of that. Like that is one of my favorite things about it is that it allows anybody off the street, whether <laughs> like John Melton says, whether you're from jail or from Yale, you can do this business as long as you are willing to be trainable, coachable and and stay the course, not give up, not be afraid because your aunt told you no, or your sister doesn't want to join you. Like that's not typically how it goes anyway. Um, but so I just love that aspect of it. I love to be able to help stay at home moms, other people who need like two to $500 extra a month. Like that makes me feel really good because that's somebody's grocery bill. That is somebody's gas tank being filled. That's somebody's car payment, you know, whatever it is. Those are the little things that families struggle with weekly, monthly, you know, when the money's run out at the end of the month and they still need to go buy groceries for the week. This is where that supplemental income comes in and makes all the difference for people. On the second hand of that, like I love, so, so that's, you know, part of the reasons I love network marketing. What I love about my real estate business is that I, it's all driven by me. Um, I have the drive, I have the motivation, I have the desire to make my businesses work, both of them. And so as long as I'm putting in the work, I can make my business work and it doesn't, it's not dependent on other people. So what I found out by working in corporate America or the, the nonprofit world, I did it, I did all of it, is that I thought because I was not passionate about those jobs that I didn't have direction, that I lacked uh, initiative. This is, you know, and these are all things that were like told to me by my bosses, uh, that like I, I, I got my job done too fast. So then I wouldn't have anything to do to keep me busy. So then I would be like filling my time. And like, that was a negative thing, but really I was not passionate about what I was doing because I was working for somebody else's dream. I was filling somebody else's bank account and barely getting paid myself. I was that person who was short at the end of the month who needed that extra two to $500. Um, so I just, for me, this has been the better way to go. Like I want to build my own dream and I fully believe in dual streams of income. I believe in having plan B and C and all of those things. And I believe that I have, you know, I have my real estate, license and I, and I love that part of it, but I also have a way to help other people fill those gaps in their income and the gaps in, you know, their, their product goals or whatever that is too. So I love waking up in the morning and feeling excited and passionate about what I'm going to do for the day and know that I have the opportunity to help people. And that comes from both ends of my business. So did I answer that question? What do I do? Who am I? <laughs> I am a network marketer who loves real estate and I'm a realtor who loves network marketing. So uh, it is Dance Party Friday and I have posted my dance videos into our private and secret and fun customer group. Um, probably gonna post them on here later, but I hope you all are having a wonderful first day of the weekend. That's what I like to call Friday. It's the first day of the weekend. And uh, yeah, let me know what your plans are for the weekend and what you're most looking forward to. So I hope you have a good day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.